Electric Supercar Channel. If you are new, here's what you have missed. I had a dream to build an electric supercar. I got a kit, started working on the mechanical, and the electrical. Recently got some key components, like the Tesla motor and the batteries. Now it's time to work on the controller. All right, so this week we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can tweak the doors a little bit, get them to fit better. Then we'll start looking into the Tesla motor controller. Um, we'll also kind of do a couple of loose ends and see how far we get. I am giving an update just to, on the panel fitting here for the doors and the hood. So I think no matter what, we're gonna end up kind of with some massive panel gaps. So I'm just gonna be matching one side and then filling in the other. So I think for the doors, I'm gonna try and match the top surface. Well, I think, whatever's easier. And then we'll just have to fill in um, a little bit along there. So I've got the hood finally where I think it belongs. So we've got, uh, again, good space here, good space around here. We got it all lined up here with our newly fixed lower section here, so. And then on the other side, again, my thought is to, to line up this top so we're pretty close here on top, get that lined up. And again, this isn't too bad, but as I go to the bottom, it's just very, very large. Um, and then, again, this isn't too bad, but well, again, I, I uh, once I get things kind of somewhat in place, I'm gonna have to do a lot of, a lot of filler to kind of get it to a place where I think it'll look good. All right, so this one I've got the top aligned. I've got kind of a wooden spacer there to get a good panel gap there. So that's kind of a good spot as it comes down the, not too bad as it gets to the bottom. There's a little bit, but then, so it goes from a little to a lot, kind of back to a little. Um, I can maybe drop this down just a titch, but again, the back, the back is where we want it. and I, I kind of did a measurement right there, um, and that kind of matches the same as up here. So I'm thinking this is about where we want it. Okay, I'm trying to look at the uh, panel gap as far as this door fitting goes. And again, what I'm looking at is this door has to kind of match the existing kind of main body here. So again, matching kind of this line as well as up here. So again, if this is kind of all flat and this is flat, um, uh, again, I can get somewhat of a decent panel gap here, but then it's like really big down here and it's kind of big the whole way. So again, I can drop this a little bit, but again, I, I've got to match at least this. So, I mean, it's probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch is what I can drop there. And the rest, the rest I'm going to have to kind of uh, enlarge the panel, if you will. Um, so that's what we're looking at. I have drilled some new holes, some new mounting holes for the uh, bracket and reattached the door. And again, it fits much better. Again, the lines look pretty good within uh, kind of some body work, normal body work. So that looks pretty good. Um, again, I think here, all along the bottom, I will have to adjust. I'll have to kind of, I think, just get some fiberglass to fill in. I mean, it's just, it's just a big gap. I mean, I don't know, like probably three quarters of an inch or something. So again, on the side, this is pretty good. Um, you know, decent all the way around up here. This, it's just uh, right here, very big, pretty big. This is uh, okay, but yeah, that's kind of where we're to. We are going to change things up. I am uh, connecting the EV controls unit. Um, I was able to get the updated or upgraded version 
that includes all the inputs for neutral, drive, reverse, um, so on. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook that up. I don't have the high voltage circuits, but uh, they confirm that I can power it up. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and see if the Tesla brake switch that we have um, is good and it functions as intended. All right, I'm going to go ahead and power on. Um, again, I don't have high hopes. I think something will be wired not quite right, but let's power it up and see. Okay, so the initial uh, power went on. The doors um, locked or somehow made sounds. So I'm now gonna go try in the front and see if I can push the switch now the power turn on. Okay, so I pushed the switch. It seems like the power went on. Um, so I might try something just like lights or something, blinker, just to make sure everything else seems like it's working. But then I'm gonna go ahead and try the brake switch. All right, so now I'm gonna plug in the EV controls unit. Okay, first I'm gonna go ahead and power everything off, then I'll plug in the EV controls unit. Okay, so I think the EV controls unit's in. I will now power things up. Wish me luck. So right now the EV controls unit is not powered up, so I'll go do some troubleshooting. Okay, here is take two. So it looks like it turned on the system. Right now, I can also hear the pump. So essentially, oh, there goes the brake lights. So let's go do the uh, parking, or the brake switch and see, see if that changes anything. All right, we're, we'll go ahead and power down. I was able to get the unit to turn on. Um, I could select it through like drive, neutral, reverse. Um, I could not get the brake, light, brake lights to cycle. I could not get the reverse lights to turn on. So I'll probably dig into the output signals from this and see if it's the signals aren't getting out or where there's trouble. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and test. Uh, I, I tested the Tesla brake switch that I got and I believe it to be faulty. So I'm actually gonna see if this works with the original Honda brake switch that I have. So here goes the test. All right, looks like it works. I wanna give a big shout out to EV Controls. They really came through, their customer service was great. Um, they've got a great channel and they've got uh, some really exciting projects. So, so please go check them out. All right, uh, sad note here. This is my other car. Uh, I usually park it underneath um, my project car and apparently some of the epoxy that I'd used to essentially shore up the front hood there 
wasn't uh, the two part epoxy wasn't mixed well and so some of it dripped on the car I didn't notice and so I drove it to work came back and um, apparently I guess if you leave it out in the sun it cures so I got cured epoxy on my hood so I'm gonna try and get it off all right so got a little bit of damage but um, most of this came off okay just up here kind of took the uh, clear coat and maybe even the paint off with it so uh, uh, anybody that wants to know I mean I tried some like paint thinner I tried uh, vinegar I tried just some alcohol the alcohol probably worked the best meaning it made it soft but to be honest um, what I ended up doing so anyways that that's I was able to kind of chip some things off there kind of manually but the rest I did just with power washer so just kind of getting a low angle and the power washer would kind of start to just eat away and then it would kind of chip up so again if I do it again I think I do the whole thing with the power washer even here I'm not sure if this may have just taken the clear coat off with it so I don't know all right so before I put the uh, battery box all together I want to go ahead and mount the pump uh, the coolant pump which is down there as well as kind of this overflow reservoir. So I want to mount both of those before I get the uh, battery box all put together. All right, I got it all in. So I uh, did some rev nuts into this here, bolted it down on both sides. And then uh, this is the bracket that kind of holds everything together. So again, nice and snug, everything's good. This one goes back, I don't know if you can see that, but back through the firewall. This other one will go um, probably to the radiator um, or to the overflow. All right, so I've got this uh, kind of overflow catch can uh, sort of arrangement with the coolant. So I've got two places I was thinking. So one is kind of right here. Um, the only downside, I, th I think I've got room and everything. The only downside is again, I want it to be kind of like the highest point um, so I can add fluid and stuff. Um, so I'm actually thinking about maybe back, back anyways, kind of like back here. Can't really see it that well. Anyway, so this way it can be up high because I've got a line right there. I want everything to be higher than that. So I think I'll go ahead and put it over here. I have this now attached. So again, um, just went into the rail here, the frame, and did a rib nut and went on the other side. So again, this will be the overflow tank. Um, I did have a, just a second of concern, just want to make sure that my, uh, anyways, master cylinder would kind of fit, and it does, so we're good there. Um, yeah, the only other thing is this came with a, an orange tube you know, to connect, which is great. It's all the right size and everything. Um, and I've got a T that'll connect to the main line. My only concern is that, as I say, the orange looks an awful lot like the, the orange for the high voltage cables. So I may want to get a black one. But other than that, I will go ahead and um, I'll probably put this in here and run the Make sure I can run the line to the radiator, but that's what it looks like. I should have probably done this a while ago, but I'm going to go ahead and add kind of a bead of the uh, sealant adhesive kind of all along the kind of the floor of this panel, and then I'm just going to paint it all up. So we'll get that done.
Okay, I got the uh, adhesive sealant kind of on some of these cracks. I shouldn't say cracks, joints. Again, this should help it kind of not uh, rattle around and should actually help strengthen it as well. So now I'll put a coat of paint on. Okay, I just got the uh, first coat on. I'll wait for it to dry and see if we need another coat. But uh, yeah, my thought is try and finish up the front half here. So when I get the um, enclosure for the batteries, the battery box, um, I'll put that together. Again, I got the pump mounted today. I got the overflow reservoir mounted. So again, I'll get the batteries mounted, get them all wired. I think at that time, again, assuming my, my doors are mounted and look good. I'll go ahead and mount the front hood and then the front will be pretty much done. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.